GE 3171 Problem Solving and Python Programming Laboratory Exercise number 2B Circulate the value of n variables Before doing the program, let's see the concept See here, the list is created A is equal to 91, 92, 93, 94, 95 List is created The index value of this list variable list value that is 0 index 0 91 is stored index 1 92 is stored index 2 93 is stored index 3 94 is stored index 4 95 is stored okay after that we want to get the number n is equal to 3 that is uh, uh, getting the input from the user how many times uh, the list values wants to be circulated. For that we are getting this value from the user. If the value is first the n value will be 1. Then see that the first value will be moved to last. The 91 is moved to last. One position is moved. And n is equal to 2. Then 2 position will be moved. That is 91, 92. Both the values move to last position. And n is equal to 3 means 3 values will be moved to last position. That is 91, 92, 93. Like this way we are circulating. This is a concept. Let's see how we can execute. For doing the circulation, in this program, we are going to use the slicing operation, list slicing operation. This is very easy to use it for the circulating the value of n variables. The formula is a i colon plus a of colon i. This is a formula, main thing, list a is equal to 91, 92, 93, 94, 95. First, the i value will be 1. i is equal to 1. Then, we are going to apply that formula. That is, a of 1 colon plus a of colon 1. So, first, plus is used to concatenate. Join the two list. For that, we are using this plus symbol. First, a of 1 colon. 1 colon means in the list it starts from 1 position index value 1 and it up to the last index it will be executed. So index value 0 is 91. It is not needed because the starting value index is 1. So we can take from 92. 92, 93, 94, 95. This is a output for this. And next a of i colon a of colon 1 that is colon 1 means starting from the starting index it is taken up to 1 it will be executed but the main condition is the 1th index will not be displayed right so starting that is a 0 no it starts from 0th index 91 to 92 but the 1th the index will not be displayed. So 91 is the answer. So we solve separately. Now we are going to concatenate. Joining the two list. Okay. So first 92, 93, 94, 95. And finally 91 is added. Concatenated. Like this way we are going to apply for i is equal to 2. The value will be incremented. Second rotation. Circulation. So, A of 2 colon plus A of colon 2. So, first you want to solve A of 2 colon. The concept is from the index value 2, it is started and up to the end of the list, it will be executed. So, see here, this is 0th index, 1th index, 2nd index. So, from 93, it is started up to last. 93, 94, 95. So, this is our output. The next one, A of colon 2. A of colon 2 means start from the 0th index. Up to 2 it will be executed. But the 2th index will not be displayed. 
So, 0th index that is 91, 92, 93. But the 93 will not be displayed, included. So, the answer is 91, 92. So, next we are going to concatenate both the list. So, 93, 94, 95 and then 91, 92 is added, concatenated. Like this way we are going to apply in i is equal to 3. Because we have taken n is equal to 3 no. So 3 times it will be circulated. So the formula is a of 3 colon plus a of colon 3. This is a list slicing operation. First we want to solve that a of 3 colon. 3 colon means the index value starting from the index value 3. Up to the end of the list it will be executed. So start from 3 means this is 0, 1, 2, 3. 3 means 94. So 94 and 95 is displayed. And then next A of colon 3. Colon 3 means starting from 0th index up to 3 it will be executed. But the 3th position will not be displayed. So 91, 92, 93. So after that we want to concatenate by using the plus symbol. Concatenating, joining two list. So the answer is 94, 95, 91, 92, 93. By using these concepts we can see the program. Before doing any program first understand the concept. Then it will be very easy to write the program. So first one. Def. Def is a keyword that is used to define a function. Def circulate. Circulate is a function name. Inside that the parameter is called. That is a comma n is given. The function definition will not work first. If you call the function then only it will be executed. This fully up to this written that is a function. First it will not be executed. The function start from the main. From this one that is a function started. So a is equal to 91, 92, 93, 94, 95. Here inside the program the list is given. The next n is equal to int of input of enter number. Getting the n value from the user. If you want to get any value from the user, you want to use this input function. By using that input function only we can get the value. The input function always get the string value. So to convert the value to integer, here the explicit type conversion int is used here. To convert the string to in integer, we are using this type conversion int. So that the input of enter number. The next circulate a comma n. A is a list which we have given in the program. And n is how many times it needs to circulate. That is a n value. So these two arguments is passed. Now the function is called. Then we will move to the function. So same that name will be matched. So this function is called. A comma n is a input value. For i in range 1 to n. We are going to create a new list. By using the formula b is equal to a i colon plus a colon i. This is a list slicing operation. By using this formula we are going to circulate and we can create a new list. After doing this operation it will be stored in b. Then print circulation i that is equal to b. That which is which the value newly created list is stored in B that will be displayed then written. Likewise 
that is next i is equal to 1 the second circulation will be done and third circulation will be done. Let's see the lab exercise. Exercise number 2b circulate the value of n variables. Aim to write a python program to circulate the value of n variables algorithm. Step 1 start the program. Step 2 read the list values of a. Step 3 get the n value from the user for the circulation. Step 4 Slice the list value for the circulation 1 and concatenate the list values. Step 5. Print the circulation 1 of elements. Step 6. Check the range of values and pop the first element from the list and add it in the last in the list. Step 7. Continue until the range 1 to 3 then exit. Step 8. End the program. The next program circulate the value of n variables. Def is a keyword used to define the function. Function name circulate. Parameters a comma n input value is passed. Then for i in range 1 comma n plus 1. Then slicing operation is used. B is equal to a i colon plus a colon i. Then print the new list values, then return. This is a function. Actually, the main function started from a is equal to list 1 is created already 91, 92, 93, 94, 95. Then n is equal to int input of enter number. Then circulate a comma n. After this one, then the function will be called. Function calling is circulate a comma n. The output of this program, enter number 1, number 3 is entered. So, 3 times the circulation is completed. See the execution part. Open the portable python. Open ideally portable. In the python shell, type the program. Then click run. Run module. Here type 3, enter, you will get the output. Result, thus the python program to circulate the values of n variables was written and executed successfully. I hope you all understood the concept of circulate the value of n variables. Thank you.